In Illustrator, you can use simpler shapes and paths as the building blocks for more complex artwork by combining shapes in a variety of ways. In this video, you're going to learn how to combine these shapes in different ways using the Shape Builder tool to create the final artwork you see on the right. With the latest version of Illustrator CC open, open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial to follow along. Then choose View, Fit Artboard and Window so you can see all of the artwork. You'll start by creating this main shape. Here there's a circle and a rectangle that are overlapping. They need to be combined into a single shape to give us this shape in the final artwork. To combine shapes, you first need to select them. So with the selection tool selected, drag across these two shapes to select them. If there was other artwork underneath, you could also shift click to select multiple shapes. Select the Shape Builder tool in the Tools panel on the left, and drag across both shapes to combine them. You can tell what's about to be combined by the cross-hatching that shows. Also, the red outline you see reveals the final shape that will be created. Release the mouse button to combine the shapes. Besides combining shapes, you can also remove parts of shapes with a Shape Builder tool. This can be another way to create more complex shapes from simpler ones. Select the Selection tool again, and drag across these two circles to select them. We need to remove the top part and the bottom part to create an eye shape from the overlapping area, like you see over here in the final artwork. With the shape selected, select the Shape Builder tool in the Tools panel. This time, press the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and a minus shows in a pointer. When you click, whatever's highlighted will be removed. With the Option or Alt key held down, click the top part here to remove it, and then click the bottom part to remove it as well. You can then release the key. Now you move this eye shape onto the other shapes. So select the selection tool in the tools panel and drag the eye onto the first shape you combined. The last shape you'll create will be the small moon you see in the final artwork over here. Select these two smaller circles by dragging across them. Select the shape builder tool again in the tools panel. So that you can remove parts of these shapes, press the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows. This time drag from right to left into the overlapping shape to remove those parts and leave a crescent moon shape. Release the mouse button and then the key. Select the selection tool again. Now you'll assemble all of these shapes to make the final artwork. To zoom in a little, choose View, zoom in a few times. With this crescent moon shape still selected, drag it onto this black circle. Then, drag across both of those shapes to select them. Then drag those shapes onto the eye shape. To finish the artwork, drag this blue shape onto the other shapes. To see all the artwork, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Now you know how to combine shapes in different ways with the Shape Builder tool. You can try experimenting with your own artwork, starting with simpler shapes, combining them, and creating artwork for logos, posters, and whatever you can think of. Save a copy of this file by choosing File, Save As, and make sure to give it a different name so that the original practice file is untouched.